I I must tell you the story of one of my close friends in the ashram. Very nice gentleman. His name was Toka Krishna Das. Amazing man. Amazing man. I have never seen a gentleman like him. It's very hard to get good gentlemen. The good people who are good to the very core. Like he never criticized anybody. हम लोग ऐसे गॉसिप करते गॉसिप गॉसिप में कितना क्रिटिसिज्म लाइक गुजराती लोग दो चार लोग बैठते हैं और गॉसिप करते कितना और गॉसिप करते करते एक दूसरे को बोलती है वो गॉसिप करने के बाद तो दूसरी बोलती है अबे जावा दे ना अपने सु अबे जाने दो ना हमको क्या तो गॉसिप किया क्यों एंड गुजराती इज द ओनली रीजन आई से गुजराती इज बिकॉज़ गुजराती इज अ वेरी स्पोर्टिव इन टेकिंग जोक्स ऑन देम दूसरे का नाम लेकर वो हमारे बारे में ऐसा बोला अपने This is true for everybody, right? We talk about a third person. Then, अभी जाने देना यार क्या करने का अपने तो बोला क्यों? तो बोला क्यों उसके बारे में, right? I'll tell you what. This man never had criticism on his tongue. Never criticized anybody. So sweet, such a gentle person. Always serving others. Always a well wisher to others. always dedicated to whatever he was doing he was a sweet gentleman and the formula to be sweet is simple you need three factories in your life an ice factory in your head thanda ra koi gussa ne par bhi a sugar factory in your tongue appreciate karo bhai bolo na acha kya jata hai aur constructive feedback bhi dena hai criticism bhi acche se bolo na It's not what you say that hurts people it's how you say that hurting people Nobody has a problem taking constructive feedback if there is a mistake done there but it's not what you say It's how you say that matters a lot So a nice factory in your head a sugar factory on your tongue and a love factory in your heart love others and life gives you the fourth factory it becomes satisfactory you know you own this three factories in your life life will become satisfactory i saw this man he had a nice factory he had a sugar factory on his tongue love factory in his heart his life was satisfactory amazing man very 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 close friend to me like really nice very close we were very close and then a while after that he just realized that monkhood is not for him matlab hamare monks bhi chhod ke jate hai na एट्रिशन बोलते हैं उसको हम लोग बट जस्ट बिकॉज ही दैट वॉज नॉट हिज लाइफ ही डिसाइडेड टू मूव ऑन गर्ड अ गुड जॉब इन हॉस्पिटल दैट वी रन ही गॉट मैरिड टू अ नाइस गर्ल फ्रॉम आर कम्युनिटी एंड द लेडी वॉज लाइक सिक्स मंथ्स प्रेगनेंट वेन द आफ्टर द मैरिज शी वॉज नाउ पैक प्रेगनेंट एंड ही गॉट न्यूज दैट he had melanoma cancer and he only had 6 months to live the wife 6 months pregnant the daughter is not born yet and he has 6 months left so when he leaves this world his daughter would probably be 3 months old and the doctor said you might even leave earlier what do you do when you get such shattering news what do you do when you get such shattering news you know that man has been a beacon light of inspiration for me i don't talk about him all that much today i just thought i will share his story but i want to talk about him more now what a beacon light of inspiration that man was as i speak about him i have goosebumps as i speak about him his face and his image just lingers in my mind and in front of my eyes fresh what do you do when you left the ashram taken up a job just gotten married your wife six months pregnant and you get the news that you're going to die in six months you know the man did i'll tell you something I'll tell you something just because life gives you a cactus doesn't mean you need to sit on it 
negativity doesn't improve your journey it only ruins your journey it just ruins your journey he decided something none of us can add more time to our life but we can definitely add more life to the time we have don't look at adding more time to your life you'll all come with a fixed time kaun kab jayega kuch pata nahi hai nobody has any idea when a plane takes off it lands aisa kai zindagi bhar plane hawa mein udega ki hawa mein zindagi bhar udega plane hawa hi jaage take off kiya to landing hoga aise jeevan bhi hai jo jee hi nahi जिनको जीने से पहले मौत आ गई दोस्तों मौत आ जाए ना अगर अपने टाइम में लाइफ डालाना चलेगा लेकिन अगर अपने टाइम में लाइफ नहीं है ना जिंदे रहते हुए भी मरे हुए जैसे होते हैं लोग जी दिस फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन ही न्यू आई कॉन्ट एड मोर टाइम टू माई लाइफ बट आई कैन डेफिनेटली एड more life to the time that i have left with me he decided to move to our ashram back again he had only 6 months left just 6 months he decided to move back again into the ashram we gave him a room we gave his family a room in 3 months after he moved in his wife his daughter was born for him now it was his friends all of us monks his guru radhanath swami was there with him his beloved lord krishna was deity worshiped and served him in that temple was there with him he was with the people whom he loved he knew he couldn't change his melanoma he knew he couldn't get any more time than that he knew he couldn't add more time to his life but he knew he could add more life to his time and that's why he made the decision to come there every day every single day i've got to his room to sing for him sing kirtan for him and i remember my fingers would move on the harmonium as i sang and to flooded eyes my eyes flooded with tears that i'm going to lose this man it was so amazing i would look at him I'd look at him through this eyes, and not a single time, not a single time, did I see a face which was depressed. I used to go to his room thinking that I would make him happy. Go to his room thinking that I'd make him smile. Who was making whom smile? I think I would bring him some hope. I would. Pep him up. I would lift his spirits up. And every time I walked out of his room, my spirits were up. Ladies and gentlemen, just because someone's happy and smiling doesn't mean they don't have problems, challenges, and issues. It just means they've chosen to fill their glass with more meaning, purpose, and happiness. There in his bed, he was remembering all the most beautiful memories of his ashram life. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? What is your biggest treasure in your life? Your biggest treasure in your life is the good memories that you have. And there may be a million problems; you'll have at least ten good memories. If a million problems are running, ten good memories. Dust to hell, na? Just for the sake of it. You know what? that moment that you live that joyful moment is gone you can live that moment only once but in your mind you can live it countless time by recollecting it jo aap sun rahe hain abhi idhar live ye khatam ho jayega lecture lekin ye memory aap baar baar roz aapke mind mein la sakte hain that's the power of the human potential the event happens once but reliving the event in your mind happens every day if you choose to you know what that man 
in the middle of that crisis was bringing back all those incredible memories he spent and he told my guru radhanath swami he said if i get anything in the world i will not trade my situation that what i'm going through for anything else because in this situation my heart is filled with profuse gratitude and joy i'm able to smile every day and guess what every day wasn't a great day guys morphine wasn't working to control the pain every day wasn't a great day and it's true for us as well isn't it in our emotional physical pain whatever it is that we are going through some days we are okay and some days we are like we hit rock bottom of depression rock bottom of feeling negative insaan hai na ji bhagwan nahi hai na one day i saw him he was delirious completely delirious crying wailing in pain morphine's not working couldn't see that smile that day and we had a doctor from washington dc who was living with us then a american doctor and he said the only thing is he's not slept so they gave him a sleep sedated him next morning he was okay hota hai ji up and down up and down up and down hota and then came the day before his departure and the day before his departure i was there by his side and that man was beaming guys again with a smile on his face stay before us leaving this world he started doing this he couldn't speak Like this and we couldn't figure out what he was doing and one of my friends standing there he got it we were all we would have this lockers right next to each other we had like small closets in the ashram we didn't have rooms we were all closet partners and one of those monks there and unka jab bhi button tootta tha na this guy would sew it for him and that day he was standing there with the top button broken off and while this man is in his pain he's doing this asking for a needle and i'm sorry I'm sorry excuse me i'm sorry sorry Sorry, that doesn't happen too often. Very sorry. I shouldn't have to. <laughs> this story is what it is. I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> It's okay. Sorry. You know, so this guy is like wanting to sew his button. He's leaving the world. Leaving the world. And next morning, some saints came from Vrindavan. which was his place of worship garlands came from barsana which was shri radha's place and all kinds of devotees from all over came his guru was right next to him we were right next to him 400 of our community members were around them. and i for the very first time in my life saw somebody die in front of me i've never seen death never seen anybody die in front of me the only death i've seen somebody leaving their breath was this man i've never seen anybody leave after that i've gone for funerals but not seen anybody die in front of me when i saw that i said this is death if this is how death is i want to die like this stoka krishna prabhu taught me you can't add more time to your life you can add a lot of life to your time and make happiness happen thinking of his beloved lord krishna 
in the midst of the chanting of the holy names of Krishna this guy departed from this world giving a loud and a clear message that you can choose to be happy